Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Uh, you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well, today's video, I just wanted to show off um, one thing that I'm making and one thing that was made for me. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cup of coffee. I am drinking out of my Sock Monkey cup this morning, and this is the Vanilla Butter Cream, which I just found out has been discontinued. <laughs> so, I am going to drink up what I have left and enjoy it while I can. <laughs> Mm, that's good. I have found out, though, that French vanilla um, is my favorite of all my coffees so far. <laughs> all right, guys. So, the first thing I want to show you is my sister Tanya made me a turquoise basket. And aren't these colors just lovely? Now, they do, um, the colors do go on their own. She did not use, um, like, three different strands of yarn. She used three strands of yarn but of the same type of cake is what she used. And she don't remember. She already threw away her label, so she doesn't remember what cakes it was that she used. But isn't it just gorgeous? I love it. And it's going to sit right here by my don't quit sign. Yeah, so thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate this. And you see it's nice and sturdy. She does that where she does the single crochet and then she pulls the yarn and then single crochets and then pulls her yarn, single crochet and then pull the yarn. Um, she's the one who started me on doing that and she does that and uh, herself, of course. But yeah, so her baskets are nice and sturdy <laughs> and they stand up good. So uh, that's a good tip. If you're making these baskets, that's a tip for you guys. So thank you so much for this, Tanya. I love it. So the other thing is my daughter sent me a text message and she was showing me this turtle. So um, she she didn't come out and ask if I want to make it. But, you know, when your child sends you a crochet item, it usually means they want you to make it. <laughs> so I told her, I said, oh, that's really cute. Would you like me to make that for you? And she, uh, she said, yes. Yeah. So she purchased the pattern. It is a paid for pattern from Crochet Trend. Um, and so, so far, this is what I have. And he's really easy to make. Um, I'm not sure about this, how the face, but I'm doing the best I can, guys. <laughs> but I do need to put a little white strand right here, um, on each side. That's the only thing I really are lacking on that part. But it does come with, um, like a removable shell. So, this right here is going to be, it ties to the back. So, there's two pieces. And I may have to redo the ties. I'm not sure. The turtle in the actual pattern is not much bigger than your hand. <laughs> and uh, she wanted hers as stuffy. So, I'm using medium full weight yarn. But I am using a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. And then when you do the shell, you use um, a thinner yarn. Well, I'm still using the same yarn. So, I'm just going down a hook size. Um, but this here is the shell and it has these tabs and, um, I'm not really sure how the tabs are supposed to work yet. I, I'm not sure if they're supposed to attach to the outer shell, you know, how that works yet. And then you slip it on and then you just tie them together up here. But I have started on that. So let me show you this. Here's part of the outer shell that I've got. It's the underneath. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too big. No, it's not. So there's the part of the outer shell. I think it's gonna be so cool. And um, the little pieces on his back of his shell, I'm doing in different colors. So, um, let me show you those colors, so, um, which by the way, Tanya made this basket for me as well. <laughs> this was her wonky basket. Um, but I threw these colors together in here and I'm going to make these for the shell. Um, it is, I am using a, this is, yeah, the 2.25, but I used a 3.25 on the actual little guy. 
Um, and there's my roll counter. Let's see. I'm just going to try. I thought I might use this to tie all the hexagons together. Uh, use this color is what I'm thinking about. Um, let's see. Now you can see some of these colors better. These are the colors that I've chosen for the outer shell. Make it nice and bright and cheerful and, you know, whatever. <laughs> So the outer shell is like removable. And then you can do different outer shells with different backs, uh, with different hexagons and stuff. And it's removable so the child can uh, take the shell off and actually have, you know, the shell laying down and whatever. It's a play toy. So um, it's so far, like I said, it's really easy to make. I'm enjoying it. And um, hopefully my grandson will like it too. I might have to make another one of these and keep here for him at his at my house at his Gigi's house <laughs> um but yeah and I thought about making one of these in um I don't know like maybe a gray color even um but anyway that's what I'm working on right and now. the place where um she found this is crochettrend.com and they were on sale the patterns for like eight dollars or something like that um but here he is right there see how he's got that little shell on him back there and they use a number two fine weight yarn so that's pretty tiny <laughs> yeah of the hexagons i've got to put together for his outer shell so it's going to be really colorful. <laughs> um, I'm actually enjoying doing the shells because I like doing all those colors like that. And then here's all my colors so far. These are uh, Big Twist yarns except this right here. I'm really not sure what this is. This is what I use for his, I forgot what they call that, um, that part of it, his, his shell. The, it starts with a P. I can't remember what they called it. But I'm thinking this is Red Heart because it feels like red heart. The other thing is I finally finished my slippers that I was started on like last week with this yarn that I have received from Doris uh, from Rose Cottage Studio. Um, but this time I did it like my video, original video, instead of doing the cuffs, I did this right, just this way right here. Because some of these, I don't want the thick cuff. I just want, but what I have to do guys, um, I haven't seen my video in a while, but I did my 26 stitches around twice. And then whenever I did this last row, just to make sure they stay on my feet good, because you know, crochet stuff, uh, tends to stretch, um, over time. So what I've done is I did 22 stitches on the third row and that makes it nice and tight around my ankle, not too tight where it's uncomfortable, but, um, just to where it's, you know, a little bit tighter. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I made another one for my booties in a basket. So, so far, that's how many I've made. See, that's the booties. Uh, that's the cuff that I'm talking about. And this one, I just didn't do that kind of cuff. See? But anyway, so, so far, for my booties in a basket, these are all the colors that I have. And these are going to go in my bedroom on a shelf in the closet. And... Whenever I want to put get my booties, I have a little basket there for them. And I will just um, pull me a pair out. <laughs> and I'm just trying to use um, yarns that I have that I haven't used in a while. I'm trying to use them up is basically what I'm doing with these. So um, I'm not going out and specifically buying yarn. I'm going to my shelf, my yarn stash over there, and finding colors that I have, but I haven't necessarily found to work up in projects yet and stuff. And so I'm just trying to use them up instead of using my everyday, what I call my favorite colors, like your blacks, red and whites, those type of things. Um, I'm trying to use, now this right here is a good color, <laughs> but I had just received this in the mail and I had to make something with it. And so that's why I've got that. So I'll remember my good friend Doris when I wear these. Um, I'll keep her in my thoughts and stuff. Um, 
anyway, with, when I wear that pair. But uh, these others are just, like I said, yarns that I'm just trying to use up some of the yarns that I have in my stash. And I thought that making little slipper booties um, is a perfect way to do that. sister's purse, uh, me and my sister's purse, I did find some fabrics right here at Joann's to go with the purse that I'm making. This one's going to be my, uh, the lining for the, my purse, and that's going to be the lining for her purse. I like both of them, so, and she does too, so really, it doesn't matter which one we actually take. I mean, they're both really nice, and I think they blend in well with these two colors. So I'm looking forward to getting getting started on this. I don't need this till May of next year, but um, I'm still excited to get started on it. You know what I'm saying? Brave enough. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. Proverbs 12:22. Faithful one, you are the strength of my heart. Everything you do is saturated in your love. Your great affection covers all my imperfections and fills every lack with the abundance of your goodness. I cannot begin to adequately thank you. You are true to your word. You are exactly who you say you are. You don't change with the wind. I won't wake up one day to find you are a completely different person than I knew 15 years ago. Your constancy is staggering. Your goodness even more so. I want to live a life of integrity, honest with my words as well as my actions. May I be true to who I am in you in every area of life, consistently showing up as myself in every situation, no matter who I am around. May I be true to my word, just as you are to yours. May I never give the runaround with my words of intentions as you are, so let me be. What does it cost you to be honest in hard situations? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So far, that's what I've been up to. Um, I do need to make a couple more pairs of slippers for um, uh, my uh, granddaughter that uh, for her Christmas. I made her the makeup basket and a pair of slippers. And I want to make her two more pair. And then I'm going to take all three of them and then put a bow, you know, wrap a ribbon around them, make a little bow. You know, kind of like you do washcloths where you take a ribbon around your washcloth when you give it as a gift. That's kind of what I want to do with the slippers. They're all going to be um, similar. Like one is black and white. The other one's going to be a hot pink and white. And the other one's going to be a teal and white. And um, so they're all going to be stripes. And I'm going to, that's going to be part of her Christmas. And then once I get hers done, then I've got to make my daughter about three pair. Um, I've already made her the blanket. So her blanket's done. And um, now I've got to start on my son-in-law start on his blanket. His is going to be a corner to corner blanket. Um, and I will, when I get started on that one, I will show you the yarn I'm using for that. I actually bought the yarn like about a, over a year ago to make him a blanket and never got around to it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm getting around to it this year. So that's going to be part of his Christmas. So guys, that's all that I have for this video. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. I hope I've given you inspiration and things on your little crochet journey and um just remember to live life have fun don't quit and i will see you guys in my next video bye here you go brush your hair so mommy you know how to brush your hair yeah yeah show her you know how to brush your hair There you go. Yeah, good job. Yeah. There you go. Look at you brush that hair. Looking good. <laughs> and put the brush back in here. When you're done, you put the brush back in there.
There you go. Good job. Uh, I don't think we want to brush the floor. That's to brush your hair with. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.